Yeah, I think Sonderborg is a perfect place because I think uh, this, uh, Denmark had been, so to say, one of the leader in really converting to district energy with an energy efficiency mindset. I think Sonderborg is then also, I would say, even a step further with the Project Zero. And also, of course, with uh, Danfoss here, having a key technology and technology player here, I think it's super good to see, yeah. I think district energy is very much, uh, I would say, different percentages around the Europe. So we have it from nearly two, three percent to 65 plus, like in Denmark. And uh, I think the potential in Europe is up to 50 percent. So 50 percent uh, could be done with uh, district energy in whole Europe. So that's a huge potential. Yeah, district heating has a huge benefit because it's an energy infrastructure. So it really enables you to collect the waste heat and really also enable sector coupling. So it's really a fundamental piece in this energy transition, a backbone, you can say, to make that happen. Yeah, I think the key message is, I think that so much is possible and uh, really the digitalization is making the things happening. And I think the key message also, I think is what is in the Project Zero. Project Zero started with a great aspiration and we need to have that great aspiration, what is doable out in the future and then really push for that and really, you know, plan to act and uh, implement it. A lot of very inspirational cases, particularly those who which are outside of my business also. I think you can really see all these field trips, what we've organized is really, really, uh, I think, inspiring and also seeing what is possible, what can be done, but also what Danfoss can offer in the whole energy transition. So it's not only, so to say, where we in our specific specialized area where we can, of course, know all the details, but we can offer as a company so much more in the broader context, which is super good to see.